Welcome to Greece. Yay, we're back. <laughs> we have actually been here before, but we've never been to, we're in Corfu by the way. We've never been to Corfu before. First time. So the first thing we did was hire a rental car. This bad boy right here. And get some essential road trip snacks. Well, you've got to show the water to make it seem like we're oh, healthy as well. We've got water. <laughs> <laughs> so hiring a car here is like suspiciously easy. There was no, as long as you don't go with the big brands, there's no like, um, Deposit? Yeah, I didn't have to give a credit card. It literally yeah. just was like 51 euros for 24 hours. We paid a little bit extra because I grabbed an auto because just can't be bothered with the stress of... Um, Especially on these little roads. Little roads, lots of traffic, lots of tourists. Opposite side of the road for me, so it was like, just seemed like the easiest thing and to do. And we paid a little bit more to get like total vehicle protection. Yeah, yeah. And it's peak season. So if you're watching yeah. this being like, oh, you got ripped off. Yeah. We don't think we did. And we don't really care anyway. It's only no. one day. And our host was the one that told us to go to this company for our Airbnb, which we should show later because it's yes. really, really cool. It's amazing. But we've got some, we've got some fun plans. I think this is going to be a really fun day exploring. First stop though was for some coffee. What's it oh, called? Obviously. The local one? Oh, we like getting the iced coffees here because they call it Fredo. Fredo. Fredo cold, cappuccino. Yeah, cold cappuccino. And you've got to like mix like crazy to get the foam all mixed in. What's this place called? Nostos. Nostos. They have this tactic, tactic where they brought out a cold bottle of water and put it on the driving's chaos here as you can hear. Put it on the table and we were like, they're gonna make us pay for that, but we just don't know how much. And it came, it was only like 50 cents, it was fine, but. Yeah, good tactic. She like put it down and didn't even make eye contact. <laughs> it's like, we know what you're up to. So you kind of need it though, it's like 35 degrees today. Yeah, it's gonna be a hot one. So that was seven euros for two coffees in the water and we've got a couple of little snacks and everything as well. But first stop is, well, first official stop is the beach. Not while driving, no one needs to worry. <laughs> Successful mission? Successful. 440 for two. They're big ones, I think they're 500 mils. They even, might even be bigger than that. Yeah, 500 mils. The drive here was quite interesting. The roads are so narrow and yeah, it's kind of only designed for one car. I can see out the corner of my eye. This is my first, oh, wow. my first look at... <gasps> Me first. The clarity. We have seen a lot of clear water in our time, but this color, it's like so blue. Look at over the back there as well. Is that where we're going? That seems far. <laughs> that seems far. We're not going there. We can't walk to that actually. No. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is epic. <laughs> Always so particular while we're filming on the beach. I'll be careful not to show too many people because we are in uh, that European kind of feel, if you get what I mean, ladies. Free. Very free. This is like a local kind of beach. This is not full of tourists. This feels local. There's a little cliff. We've got these awesome views. Half sand, half kind of rocks and stuff. Yeah. Small, local, rugged, raw, beautiful. Digging it. Very cool. It's absolutely insane. I honestly think this is the clearest water that I've ever been in, and that's beating the Philippines and Samoa, probably the two prior to this that I saw were like right up there. I'm probably maybe three or four meters deep now, and I can literally see the rocks on the bottom. It's just, it's actually ridiculous, but the water is absolutely freezing. So now that we're in, it's absolutely magical. Going for a little bit of a swim because we've got some rocks and stuff over here. Over the other side, there's people actually jumping off. 
which I'm always tempted by. But look at this. This is exactly what we were looking for. This is perfection. So Corfu is a lot, if you haven't picked this up yet, it is a lot bigger than we expected, hence why we have a car. There is just so many beaches and so many options mm. here. Well, it is an island. There's kind of everything that you could want. So there's the, the beaches that have the big, um, like sun lounges. Mm, like the quite commercial ones where you'd be, get the full service and everything. Pebble beaches. Mm -hmm. uh, there's sandy beaches. There's complete isolated ones as well. We heard yeah. about this one, Halakonis, I think it was called, which is oh, right down a, south. Yeah, right along like the sandy split. Like a mm. sandbar and everything. So there's just so much variety here. But we sort of thought we've only really got one day to explore before we start a sailing trip. And we were like, we really want to get a feel for uh, Corfu as a whole. So we picked this like local pebbly you know, like less touristy sort of spot. Then we're gonna go get some food, for sure. Yes, I'm so hungry. Okay. And then in the afternoon, we're gonna go and visit Corfu Town. The oh old yeah, town. yeah. Um, do some exploring. Do some exploring and yeah, just, I think there's a couple of forts in there or something. Just walk the laneways, the cobblestone streets. Mm, but the freedom of a car, a beach like this, I mean this weather, I quite literally cannot see a single cloud in the sky, like crystal clear and freezing water. Oh my goodness, it is so cold. <laughs> I cannot even explain how cold, it's like I Arctic. Said, I already said all of this. Oh, did you? Like, oh my God, I'm freezing. <laughs> no, not that I'm freezing, but just that the water is like yeah, yeah. refreshing anyway. Yeah. These little roads. <laughs> These little roads are so crazy. We've got like brick walls on that side and there's just like one lane. Ooh. Sorry babe, I'll go slower. It's mostly just, it's just gravel and dirt and dry and there's no like passing lanes. If somebody else comes down, <laughs> I honestly don't know what, what we will do. Coming down was a bit of a mare, but I think going up is always the more difficult one because you sort of get that like <laughs> of the wheels spinning. But hey, this is adventure, this is travel, this is fun. We saw a few places on the cliff face, on the cliff, like on the face, looking across from the beach that we were just at, which is in and around the headland right there. We finally managed to find a park, which was one of the hardest parts. You can see all the cars queuing up trying to get spots here. And it's literally down in this cliff. I don't know if you can hear the music because we might not be able to talk much while we're down there. There's boats coming in and out. There's like a little dock down there as well. This looks quite VIP, doesn't it? This might cost a fair bit of money, but we're about to do a relatively like um, budget friendly kind of cruise. So we're like, okay, let's, let's enjoy this while we can. There's people swimming and jumping off the rocks down here as well. I just don't know if they're part of the same thing. It's called uh, La Grotta. Let's go find out. How good is this? This is a scene right here. Every now and then you have these moments when you travel where you just find like all of these things that you love in one place. We've got a view, amazing Greek food, pizza, beer, like cliff, cliff jumping as well as the diving board that I just did. We've got music playing. Honestly, I don't really know if there's much more. Of course, I've got Stace as well. Honestly, don't know if there's much more that I could ask for. This is, I'm sitting here right now just in one of those moments that I feel like I should share rather than try and play it cool, but I'm sitting here right now like, this is life, this is absolutely living to me. I'm very happy. What I was saying when we were walking from the top, we're gonna treat ourselves, it's gonna be like amazing, but that was really cheap. That was 25 euros for pizza, meze, beer, and Coke. Coke. That's with, crazy, and with, an amazing view. Yeah, with that scene, that's absolutely epic. So now we're gonna um, try and mission our way into the old town, and from what we've heard, parking is gonna be a little bit of a challenge.
Well, parking was actually very easy because we decided to make a decision to remove the stress. Especially these like small old towns, they're always one-way streets and like cobblestone and you're like, is this pedestrian, is this mm. cars? So. so we just mapped to something, a car park on a um, on Google Maps, paid three euros was all it was because we'd read it could be up to five euros an hour, three euros for the whole night and then we basically just walked uh, for like five, mm. ten minutes. Now we've just walked through the new town and a lot of the old town. It is so charming. I feel it like is. the old town is just like each kind of like laneway you go to is different from the other. Like some are pretty familiar to us because we've done a lot of old towns mm. um, in Europe. Oh, Which that doesn't come down on your face. <laughs> oh, it's, one of these, it's one of these barriers that just came down. I saw something moving as well. I started flicking. <laughs> that would have been great for the vlog. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's been amazing. So we're heading towards the water yeah, now. Okay. So. Bye guys. <laughs> but we're heading towards the, um, the harbour. Is it the harbour? Don't the know. Port? Should have just looked on a map. We but like, water. Yeah, after walk, after spending the day at the beach and all that sort of stuff, is then you sort of walk around through a bit of a concrete jungle, and it's a bit like, oh, it's nice, yeah. and it's sort of old, and it's some is quaint, and then there's big buildings and small restaurants, and there's it's charm to it, but isn't it's it? like, yeah, it doesn't really compare. No, so we're just sort of curious to go and see what what does the sea look like out this way, anyway. Just after I almost got hit by that barrier arm, <laughs> we stumbled upon the old fortress. I had to quickly Google it to find out what it was. It's an old Venetian fortress that was built in the 15th century. It's beautiful. We'd love to go in, but I think it closed. It's pretty much, it is closed. It's closed. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. It's like Venice. Before we do a quick sneak peek of our next video, our first day on our sailing trip around Greece, we just want to take a quick moment to thank Kieran for joining our second highest, I think, Patreon tier and supporting our channel, supporting our adventures and the videos that we make to share back with you guys. So thanks, mate. Perfect. All right. <laughs> first made time it. walking on. I've not got very good balance. <laughs> It is such a relaxing way to travel though. Everyone has just been hanging out and... Nice and calm. I think it's good for us as well because we have, we're we always so fast paced mm. that it's kind of nice for us to just slow and it, it's forcing us to think about like, oh, should I read a book? Should yeah. I do something like relaxing? Yeah. Yeah.